We all know that planet Earth rotates, so why don't airplanes, when they take off, just stay in one place in the sky and wait for the Earth to rotate underneath them? Then when they want to reach a specific country, they could simply land because that country would eventually come under them. If we want to travel from Egypt to Saudi Arabia, we board a plane, go up, wait for Saudi Arabia to be beneath us, and then we land in it. Or is there a simpler and cheaper way than flying? For example, we could take a balloon, rise high into the sky, wait for the Earth to rotate, and then descend to the desired destination. Welcome to this episode of Curious Queries, where we will answer the question of why don't airplanes stay in the sky and let the Earth rotate beneath them until they reach their destination. Before we begin, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive our latest videos. To understand this concept, let's start with a simple example. We all know about drones. Let's assume there's a person with a drone. He take the drone, get on a bus, and sit in the front seat. Then, as the bus starts moving, imagine this person turns on the drone and makes it hover above the seat they are sitting on. Now in this scenario, will the bus itself start moving and the drone remains in place above the seat until the drone is directly over the last seat on the bus? The answer is of course not. The drone will stay above the first seat just as it normally would. Here, a question arises. How does this drone stay in place while the bus is moving? The answer to this is simple. Even though the drone is flying in the air, it is within the bus and moving at the same speed as the bus. That's why the drone remains hovering in place naturally. The only way the bus can move from under the drone is if the drone exits the bus and is no longer affected by its speed. Let's imagine that we take the same drone, place it on the street, let it hover in the air and secure it in place. As buses pass beneath it, everything would be perfectly fine in this scenario because the bus and the drone are two completely separate entities with nothing inside each other. If you don't have a drone but want to try this yourself, take something you can throw in the air, like a tennis ball for example. Sit in your chair and as the bus moves at its maximum speed, keep throwing the ball into the air. You'll notice that the ball goes up and down in your hand just as it normally would. It doesn't go forward into the bus, similar to the bus motion. Alternatively, you can do this without a ball. Just stand on a subway or bus and jump. You'll find yourself landing in the same place as you jumped from, even though the subway or bus is moving at its highest speed. These examples all illustrate the exact same concept that happens with the Earth's rotation. The Earth rotates around itself at a speed of up to 465 meters per second. That's faster than the speed of sound. Right now, as you sit here, you, your phone, your home, your street, your country, everything is moving through space at a speed of 465 meters per second. The reason we don't feel this rotation is that the Earth moves at a perfectly regular speed. In an example related to this, Galileo, the scientist, said that if there were a giant ship sailing quietly and smoothly on a completely calm sea, with no waves and no disturbances, if a person is sitting in a room inside the ship, unable to see the sea outside, and there are no windows to look through to the outside, if that person were to fall asleep and suddenly wake up, they would be unable to determine whether the ship is moving or stationary. They would only be able to tell if they saw something else stationary while they themselves were moving. This concept of uniform motion is something we experience every day in our lives. For example, when we get on the subway, we feel the movement when it starts and when it stops, but in between, when it's moving steadily, we don't feel anything. You could even take out a piece of paper and write or draw without any trouble. Just like in an elevator, when you feel that moment of it starting and stopping. However, in between those moments, you feel complete stillness, and this is because it's moving at a steady speed. This is exactly what happens with the Earth's rotation. The Earth rotates at a perfectly regular speed, 
and that's why we don't feel its rotational motion. The key point here is that everything within the Earth's environment moves at the same speed as the Earth itself. Humans, buildings, structures, roads, mountains, trees, forests, seas, and oceans, all of them move together harmoniously and at the same rotational speed of the Earth. This extends from the deepest point at the Earth's core to the highest point in the atmosphere. Anything within this environment will be influenced by the Earth's rotational speed. This means that the air around us, where airplanes move, is also in sync with the Earth's movement. If you were to treat the air as if it were not part of Earth's environment, that's not accurate. The air consists of gases, molecules and particles, and they also move in sync with the Earth's rotation. So, anything within the air won't feel the Earth's rotational motion. If we flew in an airplane or a balloon and looked below us, we wouldn't see the Earth spinning. Instead, we would move normally along with the Earth's motion, staying in our original position. The only situation where this idea could apply is if we completely escape Earth's atmosphere and venture into outer space. If we assume that the Earth's atmosphere extends about 10,000 kilometers in its layers, we would need to surpass this distance. Not only that, but we have to move far enough away from Earth to completely escape its gravity. This would mean traveling beyond the distance between Earth and the Moon, which is approximately 384,000 kilometers. Instead of attempting such a journey, it's more practical and economical to reach our destinations by airplane. Even if we were in a remote location in outer space and observed the Earth spinning, as we approached it and re-entered its vicinity, it would appear to stop spinning for us because we would become influenced by its rotation, just as we were originally. Therefore, the idea of going into space with a spaceship and then returning when the planet has rotated is an impractical concept in any scenario. In conclusion, regarding airplanes and the Earth's rotation, there's a common question circulating on social media. It states that according to the science of astronomy, the Earth rotates counterclockwise. Does this mean that airplanes flying eastward move faster because they align with the Earth's rotation? while airplanes flying westward move slower or consume more energy since they go against the Earth's rotation. So, if we're in Egypt and heading towards Saudi Arabia, will it be faster than if we're in Egypt heading towards America? The answer to this question is similar to the answer in the previous discussion. As long as the Earth is moving at a constant speed, and we are within the Earth's environment, moving at the same speed in this scenario we won't feel the Earth's motion itself. Additionally, we won't perceive the direction of motion, and it won't conflict with our movement on the planet. And if we go back to the ship example we mentioned earlier, if we're inside the ship on the lower deck and can't see anything outside, and the ship is moving smoothly and at a steady speed, if we move inside the ship forward or backward, to the right or to the left, we'll find that everything is very normal. Physicists describe this steady speed as being almost like a state of rest. By answering today's question about why don't airplanes stay in the sky and let the Earth rotate beneath them until they reach their destination, we have come to the end. As usual, if you have any questions that puzzle you, write them in the comments below the video so that we can answer them. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and share it. And for those watching us for the first time, click on the subscribe button and activate the notification bell to receive our videos as soon as they're released. See you in the next episode. Take care.